live in my kitchen. I just learned a little trick. Hope it keeps working. If I hit the backup button on my iPad, sometimes it'll start it all over again. And I'll keep on going. Now, so far, I don't see anybody in here. Now, normally I have my daughters here to help me make pies on Thanksgiving Eve. But uh, they're all very busy, have things going on. And my Heidi just had a baby, which is a wonderful, wonderful thing. And she's getting no sleep. And um, my other daughter, one of my other daughter, Mandy, is over there helping her. And I'm glad for that. Heidi needs a rest. So I'm going to pull the pie duty tonight best I can. And uh, maybe Mandy will be back later to help me with a few. And even one of my other daughters might come over later. But for now... I'm on my own making pies. So happy Thanksgiving, Linda. Are you all making pies tonight? Let's see, we got Linda, April, White Picket Fence. Remind me your name, please, White Picket Fence. I hate fence. Remind me your name, please, White Picket Fence. I hate calling you just White Picket Fence. Hi, Allie. Rebecca, Suburban Hill, Billy, hello. Cool. Glad to have you all here. Sky. White picket fence says sky. Okay, I'll try to remember that. Let me see. Make it a, there's a white picket fence with a beautiful sky over the top. Okay, pick, picket fence sky. I'll try and make the connection and remember that. So we had a, um, um, I'm trying to think the kind of dog it was, a, a husky, Alaskan husky that had sky blue eyes. And I wanted to name her sky, but... The family wasn't thrilled with that one, they, so she ended up being Ginger. That was my second choice, too. Hello, Allie. Okay, pecan sugar cream persimmon pudding. Ooh, that sounds fancy schmancy. Okay, I have already... Hi, Whipper Will. Good. I've already uh, peeled all my apples. Good. I've already uh, peeled all my apples. They're over, let's see, here. And I can't, there, <laughs> okay, there and there are my apples all peeled. But I'm going to peel one for you because uh, uh, cr last Christmas my family gave me a neat little gizmo. And I have the hand crank one, which is great if you're off-grid or something. But they also g gave me one that fits my um, KitchenAid, and that's what I use today. Congratulations on the new edition. Yes, he is absolutely stunningly beautiful. No brag, just fact. I don't think I'm the least bit um, uh, prejudiced when I say that because he really is gorgeous. So we are thrilled to have him, especially when she had such a hard time conceiving. And uh, it's a great, great blessing. So we have a lot to be thankful for. Daughter-in-law is the main cook this year, says Linda. Okay. Okay, over here. You passed my messiness. I've been busy, busy. All right, uh, there's my KitchenAid. And I'm just going to peel one apple for you to show you how this fun gizmo works. It's pretty much very similar to the hand crank, hand crank ones, but this one, of course, is electric. So, Put the apple on here, like that. Let me scoop this thing up, like that. And then we turn it on. Let me go fast. And there's the apple, peeled, cored, sliced. I just have to, uh, Slice the whole thing in half to make slices like that. And I'll come back and get these two that fell off. And we'll bring them over and put them over with the other apples. I had them soaking in lemon water so they wouldn't turn brown. And I could save these uh, cores to make uh, apple cider vinegar. Or, oops, this this bunch. Oh, I remember that was from before. One of them didn't was wonky and it didn't peel too well. I'll have to get back to that one. Okay. Back over to here. Let me throw these in here. 
Now I've changed the way I've made apple pies. I used to load it up with cinnamon and nutmeg and brown sugar. I mean, really load it up with the seasonings. And I tried another recipe that only uses a little bit. I didn't think I'd like it, but I like it better. Because you really take the, taste the apple flavor and it just tastes fresher to me. It has a little lemon in it and um, the apple goodness. And then enough, it sounds like a tiny bit that I put in, but it's enough. So now I don't make it with so much cinnamon and nutmeg. So here we go. This is about five pounds of apples. Let me try and darken this a bit so you can see it. This is about two and a half pounds in each of these. I had to split them up because I didn't have one bowl big enough where I could mix everything. So where I could mix everything. So I'm going to start by putting a half a cup of granulated sugar in and that means a quarter cup in each because I'm dividing it over the two bowls. I hope you can hear me. I can't find my little external mic that goes on my iPad. And then a quarter cup of the brown sugar. And again, I'm going to just divide that into each bowl. Eventually, they're all going together anyway. Okay, so I, let me check my recipe again, make sure I don't flub it up here. Okay, half a cup of this sh white sugar. All right, sometimes I put zest of lemon in here too, but I don't have any real lemon, so I'm not putting the zest in. I may put a splash of lemon juice in it from the bottle later. All right, now, oops, want a little bit of salt. So I am going to put an eighth of a teaspoon of salt in each one. And thusly, eighth teaspoon of salt. All right, so they want me to put in, in my recipe, Apples, white sugar, brown sugar, zest if I have it, salt, and the cinnamon. And I'm only going to put in half a teaspoon of cinnamon, which is a quarter of a teaspoon in each bowl. Let's see, here's the half. So. And I like a little bit of nutmeg. Not a whole lot, probably a quarter teaspoon overall. Okay, and then we need to mash it up. Get it all mixed. Evenly coated. I was very surprised the first time I made it this way that I liked it so much better. You may be different. You may like tons and tons of cinnamon in yours, and that's the only way you would like it. Now, the other thing I'm doing differently now is I'm going to pre-cook my apples and drain them. I find it makes a sturdier pie, an easier to cut pie, a very flavorful pie. If I cook down my apples before I put them in my crust. Okay, so I have a pot here, like a Dutch oven would work, and I'm putting all my apples in here. And I'm going to put it on medium-low, and I'm going to keep a good eye on this and see if I can cook them down until these are just tender. Fork tender. We don't want a mushy, just fork tender. And that's how I do my pies. Let's see. 
medium low. Ready? Now, I was having trouble with my turkey. I took my turkey out of the freezer Sunday night and I put it in a picnic cooler. Um, thought that would do the trick. And I checked it yesterday and it was still rock hard. So I guess I got a pretty good picnic cooler <laughs> that keeps things cold. So I took it in and now today I decided to put it in the water to uh, thaw it because I got, I'll keep changing the cold water out because I want to put it in the oven tonight to cook it low and slow overnight. So I'm going to wash my hands off. But you see Tom is here in the water. I'm going to switch him over again. He's feeling better. I keep changing the water out, keeping them nice and cool, but warm enough so he'll thaw out a little. He's still pretty hard in the middle, and he's supposed to go in the oven tonight, close to midnight. So hopefully he'll be ready. <laughs> Alrighty. What else we got yes, going on in here? Rebecca, Suburban Hillbilly, says, I'm just making one pumpkin pie. I'm making, and it went away, come back. I'm making complete Thanksgiving dinner, but there's just two of us. Leftovers are good. Oh, leftovers are great. I'm lucky if I get enough afterward because my family, of course, likes to take some home too. I think this year, one of the things I'm going to do is as I clear the table after Thanksgiving, I'm going to have a casserole dish. I'm going to layer potatoes and dressing and turkey and gravy and, you know, make like a, a Thanksgiving casserole so we can just freeze that and have it whenever. All right, let's see. Thank you, Francis. Happy Thanksgiving to you up in Canada. Want to share your grandbaby? <laughs> we got to share him with a lot of people. We got a big family. <laughs> and he's our only close one. We are we have wonderful grandchildren, but three of them are in Massachusetts. A couple of them are in Virginia. I got uh, two uh, gifted grandchildren here. Uh, they're not blood grandchildren, but they were gifted to us by marriage. So, well, actually one is here and another, the other, the sister is in, in Pennsylvania. All right. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Allie's asking Britta if she's making her delicious fudge. Okay. A little more. And Elizabeth said she almost wished she lives in the U.S. We don't get Thanksgiving here. Yep, you can always cook the food, says Guy. It's good anytime. That's right. You know, smart thing, of course, is turkeys go on sale here around Thanksgiving, and you can get some of them for 39 49 59 cents a pound. But um, then they're not on sale again for a long time, so stock up. Put one in your freezer, and then in the spring when you want to have th um, a Thanksgiving-ish dinner or just a nice turkey dinner, you can have one that's very inexpensive. Of course, you can can your soups and turkey as well. All right, time to make the pie crust. I think I have everything set up on my table so I can proceed. I usually have a roll-out sill pad or roll-out uh, mat that I use. I don't know where it went. Couldn't find it. So we're going to make do without. I've got two pieces of wax paper here. And I make the pie crust that my mother always made, which is an oil and milk pie crust. A lot of people don't know about that, uh, but it's super easy and I think it's delicious. So that's what we use. And do I have a one cup measure? I probably have everything but Gotta wash one out. So I'm going to put in two cups of all-purpose flour. I like to fluff, fluff my flour up first. It's 
so it isn't all packed down make it a little airy and then just use the back side of a knife to cut it off even to measure okay there's my two cups of flour then I take I like to do it this way I take a three-quarter measuring cup and I put in it's marked with increments coming up. So I put in a half a cup of oil, which is there. And I add a quarter cup of milk. Leslie, yep, that's up the top. So this is my oil and milk pie crust. I also put in a little salt. I lost my salt. Hmm. Let me get another one. Oh, here it is. Right in front of my face. All right, I'm going to put in half a teaspoon of salt. And for a fruit pie, I like to sweeten the crust too, so I'm putting in a teaspoon of sugar. All right, then I mix the dry ingredients. This is super simple. Because you don't have to cut in any of the fats, you know, like the salad shortenings or butter or lard or anything, you just dump this in. And then take a fork and stir it up. And it'll start to look like pie crust. With the bumps, like pea size and larger. And you just mix it until all the dry ingredients are moistened all right that's about right don't want to overhandle it all right i'm going to stir my uh, apples real quick Now this recipe usually works very well. Of course, like with any dough recipe, if your air is moister at some times than others, you may have to adjust the oil to um, flour mixture a little bit. So I'm going to put this on my, see if that's enough. big mat that I use, but I think it's buried under my excess baking cans in my cabinet. I have to purge. I have too many baking cans for sure. Can you all hear me? is that you can patch it up really easily like you take a hunk here 
stick it there and roll it down and it works really well. And I fold the edges in to make them sturdier. Well, let's see how that fits in a pipe. Not quite. I think my wax paper is. Not quite white. Oh, shoot. I just, <laughs> the whole thing fell apart. Well, okay. This is a good reason to show you how this will patch up very easily. Because this is also a pat -a pan recipe. You can also, instead of rolling it out, you can just take your uh, crust, pat it in the pan, and make it that way. You know when you're live, everything's going to go wrong, right? If I wasn't live, this would have gone perfectly. But, no worries. I can make it look perfect. I'll have to do another one so you can see it does come out right. I made this on other videos. So you can go look at those to see when it looks good, <laughs> when it doesn't fall apart on me. As I said, it could be, with the heat on, I needed a little more oil in the mix instead of the mix I had. This is disappointing to me because I wanted to show you how nice this pie turns out. And of course this time it's going to give me fits. It'll still look good in the end.
I'm live right now, honey. We don't have visitors? Oh, you mean because I was talking? Yeah. Oh, because I was talking. Yeah. No, I'm live right now making a pie crust. And of course, the one I'm going live on decides to fall apart on me. <laughs> no, no visitors. Just, just my YouTube friends are visiting. This isn't a good example of my recipe. I should have tested one out before I started to see if the ingredients had to be adjusted for the uh, humidity in the room today. Sometimes that happens. Okay, let's check our apples. Then I'll look at your comments. I'm going to add a bit more sugar because I realized I usually put half sweet apples in and half uh, Granny Smith's in. These are all Granny Smith's and they're a little tartar than other apples. So I'm going to add about a quarter cup more sugar just in case. If I had put half sweet apples in, I wouldn't have done that. See if there's fork tender. Not quite. Let's see. No, not quite. Mmm. Very tasty though. Okay. Let me check your comments. Okay. You got a, I love it when you all talk to each other. Duncan, hello, Brenda. Allie gets pecans, pecans, pecans at the Dollar Tree. Cool. I could have gone bowling with my turkey yesterday. <laughs> Rebecca's was frozen too. Okay, Denise is cooking her turkey in a bag this year. They say it takes less time. Yeah, I'm doing my low or slow overnight. I used to do it that way all the time, and then somebody got in my ear and said, don't do it that way. And I never had as good a turkey since, so I'm going back to what I know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I had a Tara moment. <laughs> Maybe being friends with Tara is rubbed off on me. I don't know. I haven't put it in the oven yet. We'll see what happens when I do. <laughs> she had a fire last time. Bye, Allie. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Hello, food forest permaculture. Nice pie making. Well, it would have been, you know, normally this time it didn't come out as good. It, it will be fine, but it just didn't roll out as well as it usually does for me. Okay, Sky is a Buckeye transplanted in Missouri, Vancouver Island, Saskatoon, Canada. Becky says, pie making makes her think of being home with her mom. Yeah, like I said, I, 
I expected my daughters to be here tonight, but they a lot of things went on, so they may some may come by later to help with the. We're gonna make a lot of pies. I got cherries. I got two apples to make, and probably about four pumpkins. Yeah, it will be a nice sleepy pie crust. It just uh, didn't go together as well as usual. We'll see if the top crust does better. Canadian Thanksgiving. Margaret says Canadian Thanksgiving. Having a rotisserie chicken and twice baked potatoes, sweet potatoes, green beans, stuffing, and desserts. Everything is all ready to reheat tomorrow. Oh, good for you, Margaret. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, Becky. You're very sweet. Yeah, live live videos can be a little intimidating, <laughs> especially when I think decide on the spur of the moment to do one saying, well... Let's throw caution to the wind and see what happens here. So I'll show you what else. Um, we have, we're going to have turkey dressing. I made dressing four ways. I made my regular dressing, which is sage uh, bread dressing with uh, onion, celery, butter, um, bell seasoning, walnuts, Cran, cran, uh, dried cranberries and uh, a few raisins. That's how I make my dressing. And then I have to make one without onions because my son-in-law is allergic to onions. And then I have to make one without the walnuts because my grandkids are allergic to nuts. And then I have to make one without the butter with uh, using a vegan butter, the, uh, a vegan version of my uh, recipe because my other one of my other daughters and son-in-law are vegan <laughs> so I made dressing four ways and that's all in the fridge that's done so <laughs> now when we have Easter we always make pineapple dressing and my family loves it so much they insist every holiday we have pineapple dressing and for Thanksgiving I really kicked up and told them no the pilgrims did not have pineapple we're not gonna have pineapple dressing <laughs> but I gave in and uh, because if I don't make it, my husband makes it or my daughter makes it because they're insisting they're going to have the pineapple dressing. So here it is. My husband made it and he doesn't cook, but he makes pineapple dressing. And here it is. That's pineapple dressing. It's a bread dressing with pineapple and eggs and sugar and cinnamon and they absolutely love it. So we have it every holiday. And he and when he was teaching, he just retired, but when he was teaching and they would have Christmas parties or any kind of parties, and he was asked to bring a dish, he would make that and bring it, and it was always a hit. Alrighty, I think these apples are doing pretty good now. So I pre-cook them now to get some of the moisture out, but I reserve like a half a cup of that moisture. And now I'm gonna pour them out. These are my apple containers. All right, I'm going to pour the apples. Come on now. I'm going to pour the apples into this container just to cool them. And then I'm going to drain them after they cool a little. Oh, they smell so good. I can smell the cinnamon and the nutmeg, even though I didn't use a ton of it. And they smell sweet, like... I can smell the sugar cooking. All right, so I'm gonna put these out just to cool for half an hour. Then I'm gonna drain them off and put them in pie shell. And that helps not to make a soggy apple pie crust or to have it bubble over and it, I think it intensifies the flavor. I have that ready to make in the morning. My recipe calls for country pineapple casserole. Sounds the same thing. It's my favorite. I, oh, I didn't know you made that, Margaret. A lot of people don't know about it. And Patty, hi Patty. Patty Grove from Colorado has her pumpkin pie in the oven. Ham, sweet potatoes, green beans. We're all going to do tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to make, I'm going to cut up my sweet potatoes tonight, make my sweet potato. I like candied sweet potatoes and my daughter-in-law makes a wonderful sweet potato casserole 
and we both we like both of them so I make one and she makes the other and people can take what they want and of course we'll have mashed potatoes and the dressing and uh, gravy and a green bean casserole that one of my other daughters is making uh, I'm sure there's more I didn't write the menu down so I'm probably forgetting something and then our pies and coffee and iced tea and milk if somebody wants milk so back to the drawing board with my pie crust let's hope the next one turns out a little comes out a little easier so I think I'm going to put more like three quarters in. I'll add more if I need to, but it just seemed a little dry, the last one. Alright, and I'm going to put half a cup of oil, oil and milk. Almost put it in before I put my dry ingredients in. Don't want to do that. Put my dry ingredients in first. So half a teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of sugar. There we go. Dry ingredients mixed up. And then add the wet. seems a little you know I didn't put the full amount of flour in I think it needs a little more yeah that looks better this one looks better yep it is let me make myself some room here I should just roll it out on my table with, with enough uh, flour. I'm missing my pastry mat. Let's see if I can do that. You know, Bev Wolfie, she uses a tablecloth when she rolls out her doughs and stuff. I haven't tried that yet, but it looks like a good idea. And then she just shakes the tablecloth outside and throws it in the washing machine and there's not much mess to clean up.
one looks plenty big enough for my pie. Let me come back to my apples. cool off more. For the sake of time, no, no, I was going to take a shortcut, but I'm not going to because putting the hot apples in the pastry wouldn't be a good idea. I want them to be at least somewhat cooler. So let me check the, uh, be back. Did she get some sleep? <laughs> yeah, but she feels great. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> My daughter Mandy just came back from helping Heidi. I don't know if Heidi's with her or not. I'm kind of hoping she's not. She needs her sleep bad with the new baby. But I know she loves to help with the pies. Okay, Becky, when you were talking about the stuffing, mentioned Bell seasoning. That is what I grew up with. Can't find it anywhere near me. So when I'm in New Hampshire, I stock up on it. It's great for pork pies. I've never used it for pork. Uh, let me show you what I'm look, talking about. There it is. Bell seasoning. I grew up in upstate New York. This is what my mother always used. I love it in poultry and in our turkeys dressing and everything. And if you watch Martha Stewart, that's what she uses in her uh, turkeys also in her dressing. Still frozen. You check in your turkey. <laughs> real housewives need to learn the real reality. Yeah, that's that's true. This is the real reality. People coming in and out. Your pie crust not being moist enough. And you have to redo it. Okay. Get the farm. We go up there at least once a year. We have two sons there. Okay, I am live, honey. Just so you know. Well, huh? I have visitors. Just oh so my you know. goodness! Oh my! They just brought the baby. <laughs> I I may have to I may have to stop. No, you're good. I'm good. Yeah. He's sleeping. We're gonna make pies, yeah. Yeah, I am. I've started to. Oh, you need your sleep, baby. Um, do do you? Is he sleeping now? Yeah, he's sleeping. Okay. Well, I'm really loving watching this. Well, it, it's definitely real life. <laughs> it's just fly by the seat. Oh, they're going to show the baby. Here he is. There's my Heisey. So and her. There's our beautiful, oh, honey, he is just gorgeous. Here, let me get closer. <laughs> I, I wasn't going to show him unless she said, isn't he <laughs> the most beautiful <laughs> baby you ever saw? <laughs> Oh, he's got, oh, look at him. He's got sock monkeys. I make sock monkeys. So. Oh, that is his so whole, sweet. His whole outfit is sock monkeys. Is it? I haven't seen that Just one. Just for Grandma. Oh, thank you. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. There, she let me show you the baby. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Yes, holiday blessing is right. Yeah. They just walked in. He's very cute. Hey, hi, Bobby. Can I see you? <laughs> yes, you got to see the baby. I had I was over there the other day and I did a live when I was babysitting while Heidi was sleeping, but I didn't show him because I didn't have her permission. So I was glad she brought him right up to the camera to show you. <laughs> we we just love that little guy, Jeffrey Michael. And he was nine and a half pounds. So he was a big little boy. <laughs> so I'm making the apple pie now, hon. They make, they're making fun of me again because I'm their mom. Because I'm shouting. Well, they can't hear me. All right. Let's get this cooled off a little more. And drain. I think it smells gonna... so good in here. <laughs> yeah. Heidi says it smells so good. All right. I'm going to try this. 
I'm going to try to start putting it through a strainer to drain the juices off. And it might cool it a little faster, too. If I wasn't live streaming, I'd just let it sit until it cooled down enough. But I'm going to try it this way. baby noises. Sweet little baby noises. There. Now that some of the extra juices can drain out of the bottom of the colander. And I'll leave the ones that are left over in this pot too. We'll let that drain out a little more and cool off some more. <laughs> here's our here's our little guy in his mommy's arms. He is adorable. Let me see the let me see the shirt. So this is from his cousin Jess. Her, oh. her boys had this. Oh, it, it's handy down? Yeah. It doesn't look it at all. Yeah. Sweet. Little sock monkey. Aunt Jody's here. Oh, Aunt Jody. Okay, I'm live, Joe. I'm live. Oh. <laughs> okay, just so you know, my other daughter Jody just arrived. <laughs> she looks like she doesn't want to be on camera, so that's okay. okay. That's okay. All right. Um, I tell you what, I think I'm going to sign off. And once we get going with our pie making tonight, if I want to go live again, I'll do that. Otherwise, I'll just put a video on and I'll finish it up on the video and we can do it that way. Let me check your comments again. Okay, I guess that's it. All right, everybody, thanks for coming by. And um, we're going to finish up pie making tonight. i let you in on peek on a little of it. And happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.